Free to succeed, season two, raid, shadow, legends. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's happening. It's going down edition. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's going down edition. Um, if you didn't see my videos yesterday, there's some stuff going on in the community right now as it pertains to the Raid Community Awards and Saffron Man and Nubkex. So, uh, so, you know, Saffron Man and I spoke a little bit and he reached out to me and uh, he kind of wanted, I think, I don't know, he just seemed to want my thoughts. So I reacted to his video and um, yeah, we've had, uh, you know, I've had time now to kind of process everything and, and, and I don't know, in a way it sort of, have, at least in my mind has settled a little bit so I can think about everything a little bit more. And, uh, a lot of what I said yesterday is, is still pretty apt. I, I really just hope that Saffron Man and Upkex will talk. I bet if they talk, I bet it gets sorted out pretty quick. I'm, I'm sure there's some sort of understanding to be reached here, uh, that where, where this is not perhaps what it might seem at knee jerk you know what i mean when i when, when, when i talked to saffron man yesterday i i woke up i got out of bed at 6 38 and i think i was in a call with him um let's see when 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 did we talk yeah so i was on the phone with or on the on the discord call with him at 6 49 so i'd been awake for 11 minutes <laughs> so i was still a little foggy uh it was you know it was, it was like a lot of information to take in that quick um so i kind of just let him vent i didn't i didn't wasn't able to process a lot of like rebuttals or like um rational thoughts i just kind of let him have his moment and i was kind of blown away because it was the first i'd heard about it so uh, now I've had time to think about it, and yeah, I've, I've considered a few things, you know? What if this isn't even like the Creator Awards? What if this is something totally different? It could be a totally different thing, and that's kind of what I mean. I hope that I hope that he and Nubkex will talk, and I'm sure that if they do, there's some sort of understanding to be reached here, so um, that's probably all I'll have to say about it. And I hope that's all I'll have to say about it. I, I hope I hope that's the end of it, honestly, because I think... I. I I think it's easily sorted. I hope they get it sorted and I hope it doesn't have to become a big thing. I hope Saffron can get back to doing what he wants to do over on uh, Kick. I know he wants to do some Ashes of Creation content and he had other plans and I kind of hope that maybe this is just like a weird hiccup and then everybody can get back to what they're doing and there's no drama and there's no problem and there's no beef because I, I think it's probably unnecessary. I hope it's unnecessary. You know what I mean? So that's it. That's kind of my final thoughts on it right now. I guess unless something else happens and somebody wants to know what I think. But anyway let's talk about what we got going on in the account uh so we did stream yesterday we tried we did our best we had some internet issues yesterday which can be very aggravating but the internet here has been fairly consistent so i'm not too frustrated about it if it happens multiple days in a row then i'll have to figure out some sort of solution uh, but so far our internet's been fairly consistent here uh albeit slow but consistent so i'm not, it's fine it is what it is we'll, we'll try again um soon if not today then perhaps tomorrow i want to get a few streams in a week but, but we, we did talk about our clan ball situation and uh we we have kind of figured out a, a plan of action hey my my champs aren't shifting when i scroll for the first time i think ever in this account we figured out a, a, a plan of action here so what we're doing is you'll notice aothar is uh is six starred now we are going to have bulwark stun target for every team and then we're going to have DPS that we swap in and out. So I'm going to keep Rathalos in the mix because he's built for it. Uh, I'm going to keep Fane in the mix because she's built for it. I'm also going to build Aothar and Frozen Banshee. And then we're just going to kind of cycle our DPS around depending on the affinity and have Bulwark be the stun target for each. I think that's probably better than uh, the alternative i think that's probably that's probably what we're going to do Aerithar does everybody that's part of any of these teams does really good damage i think we'll probably be fine we keep bulwark in the mix for rathalos uh for the hp burn and all that stuff so i i, th I think that's probably our plan of action um i don't know if i said this on stream or in video yesterday deadwood and i are probably aren't going to be able to link up for a minute so and i don't want to wait 
<laughs> I, I want to get my clan boss situation sorted. We've been waiting forever to start hitting Ultra Nightmare. So I'm working on getting Aethar done now. Uh, when the potion, when the Force Keep opens, I'll get the rest of his potions. And that happens today, actually, at, at reset in about an hour and a half. So um, I'll, I'll knock out the rest of his potions. I will start getting his masteries. And I reckon I need to go ahead and get Bulwark 6 start as well so I can get a tier 6 mastery on him. Because uh, I feel like I might need that damage. Maybe not. Maybe we'll hold off. The only problem is if I hold off, if I build him as a sun target at 5 star and then 6 star him, it might throw his stats off and I might have to rebuild him. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. How many? Yeah, we're, we're a little bit of a ways away from making another 6 star. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll see if we can't get the damage. What do we need? 30... 7 million to be comfortable. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Maybe maybe, maybe we won't 6-star him yet. Maybe we can get away without 6-starring him. I reckon that's worth a shot. And then if we have to 6-star him, I guess we'll 6-star him and rebuild him. So that his stats still fall in, into where they're supposed to fall. Into. But, um, yeah, that's it. That's our plan. That's, that's our that's, a, that's officially our plan for clan boss. Uh, we did bump up to bronze 4 in 3v3 arena. Which is dope. Um, I already told you about Barbarian Faction Wars. We are still doing fine here in Doom Tower. I think that's all there really is to catch you up on. Yeah, I think so. So, that means we really just need to keep making keep leveling up Aethar and I reckon keep making food because again there's always six stars to be made I do need to get his level up a little bit more eventually we'll drag him into Minotaur and and try to bang him out real quick I'm, I'm gonna try not to spend gems for a little bit because I, I want them to start piling back up same with our silver I did finally set up my auto sale on RSL helper <laughs> so uh I did it after all these entered my inventory, I think, though. Uh, so let's do... Wait, where is it? There. Yeah, get those out of here. And... Yeah. crazy how much I, I sold so much like five star rare gear and i still i mean like we have room we have a good amount of room but also not a ton of room still only a third of the of, our, of, of the room did i do my faction wars already here you know what i need to start doing too dude i'm clicking faction wars what are you doing Maybe I'll maybe I'll hit iron iron twins. I want to get back to hitting iron twins every day too, because that was that was helping us pile up um, uh, soul soul stones, pretty good, you know. I didn't realize we were this close to the end in here. I thought these went to twenty. I think I, I think I just kept assuming these went to twenty, so I thought we were like halfway done. But no, we're we're doing pretty good in here actually. Now that we have Maneater, can we do something interesting in here with Maneater? Is there like a, a Maneater Painkeeper thing we can do in here? Or do I need two? I don't know. I might have to look into that. I feel like there might be something interesting we can do in here now. Yeah, we'll have to look into that, I reckon. How am I doing on these? Decent. Okay. All right. <sighs> so we will continue to level up Aethar right now, I think. I need to go in and refine my auto sell. I really just set it up to sell the shit gear that's going to drop from campaign. If we refine it a little bit, we'll be in business. You know what I mean?
I do want to figure out how to start doing. I used to do summons every Friday morning on my stream when I was in the States. Like community summons for, for people that wanted me to pull their shards. And I have to figure out how to get back to being able to do that because that was really fun. That was always fun. But in order to do that, I think it would it would need to be. I think I would have to do a Friday evening stream, which actually could be kind of fun because then I could have a drink. <laughs> you can't really have a drink on Friday morning. I mean, you can you do whatever you want, but um, doesn't bode well for the rest of the day necessarily. But yeah, maybe we can get a, maybe we can start doing Friday evening streams and get a little goofy. Although I don't know who's going to be around in the States. That would be what? Let's see. That would be I think that would be. 4 a.m. It would be 4 a.m. in central time zone. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the tricky thing about it. I think I think the majority of my audience is in the States. So if I do an evening stream when the shards go like when when you could summon when the events go live. Most of the people in the States are in bed still. That's if that's if I start at like 7 p.m. I'm not trying to start a stream at like nine. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I guess I could for two hours, nine to 11, but even then it's like 6 a.m. If I wait till Saturday morning, that's tough. Like it's a better, I think it's a better time for everybody, but it's still kind of tough. And I don't really want to work like that on the weekends. You know what I mean? But maybe, maybe we could, maybe we could do that. We usually get up and go for a walk on Saturday morning, go for a walk, get some coffee, go to the dog park and then wander around and do other stuff. I guess I could come back to stream after that. Y'all are kind of just watching me think out loud right now, which I guess is what you're always doing, but I don't know if that's something you would be interested in. I guess let me know in the comments. If I'm going to stream on Saturday morning, there's going to have to be enough interest in it for me to do it. I guess so. I guess the only way we really find out about that is a test run. So depending on what's going on this weekend, I don't know if we've got places to go look at. We're trying to we're trying to move. We want to move into a, a bigger place. Um, so depending on what we have lined up for this weekend, I guess. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll give it a go. I might have to rework my Eva now that she's got more interesting stuff going on and see if we can't use her in some other places. She could perhaps, depending on how good that A2 is now, we could consider bringing her into Arena to deal with Sun Wukong now. But she's gonna she would need a rework. I think I've built her kind of specifically for farming right now. But that might be something we could play around with. Dude, I fought an Armands yesterday, a solo Armands, <laughs> and he was <laughs> he was dangerously close to soloing my team. It was my usual wither Artak Sun Wukong Deacon, and he killed Deacon. Artak was close to dying. Wither was about half health, and Sun Wukong kept getting killed and revived. And I was like, dude, if I get soloed by this motherfucker, we're gonna have a problem. If a support solos my team like that, I don't know how he was doing enough damage to Wither to get her down at all, but it was pretty ridiculous. But yeah, all right. So I guess I guess let me know your thoughts on like. If this the summon stream if there's an, if there's enough interest for that I reckon we'll give it a test run anyway just to see how it goes but I guess I wanted to mention it now I also don't know what summon events happening this weekend that's also kind of relevant but usually every weekend there's something going on and someone wants some shards pulled so I reckon there's always something to go live for I would imagine I guess there'd be a champ chase for the fusion either a summon rush or a champ chase I don't know which one is which right now because I'm not doing the fusion but um yeah, if you, th if you think you might want your shards pulled by me on stream, 
I guess let me know and then I guess hang on to them and we'll more than likely do it'll be a Saturday morning stream for me which means it would be a Friday evening stream for a lot of you in the states so there you go that's it anyway getting out of here appreciate y'all hope you have a good one